And let's say we decide to put massive amounts of weight at both of the poles, and it's going to compress the Earth this way. What's going to happen this way? It's going to expand, isn't it? The beach ball, assuming that, that the amount of air is constant, the beach ball is going to try to maintain a, a uniformity, a consistency of volume. So in other words, if it shrinks one way, it has to compensate by expanding elsewhere. This is why I get into the whole question of what happened with Atlantis is because when you pile up 6 million cubic miles of ice onto North America and maybe another 2 million cubic miles of ice over Northwestern Europe, it's squashing down the crust, right? Now, at the same time you're doing that, what you're doing is you're creating subsurface pressures. Also, as you're increasing the weight here, what's happening to the weight of the water in the ocean basins? Because the, the water in the oceans is being evaporated out, precipitated out as snowfall. But when you have the onset of a glacial age, the whole natural yearly annual hydrological cycle of the planet is completely disrupted.